What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand orthotics so that you can better help your patients function and also pass the NPTE. Some patients will need a little bit more assistance than a simple AFO can provide. This is especially true for children who have disorders like cerebral palsy. However, it's important to recognize that the higher their orthotic goes, the more energy is going to be required for them to participate in functional gait. So we'll start with a KAFO or a knee ankle foot orthosis. There are two main types of this. The first is a Craig Scott orthotic, which is similar to the metal upright version of an AFO, except that it's, this extends up past the knee. And this also requires that the patient stand with posterior trunk lean to help offset their weight. This is really helpful for patients who have things like paraplegia. You can also just get a normal KAFO, which has cuffs for the calf and thigh to help hold it in place. This helps add a little bit more stability. And then typically they have joints at the knee and ankle, which can lock into place, or you can have an adjustable range of motion that this patient can move their joints through. If they need even even more help, they can move to a HKAFO, a hip, knee, ankle, foot orthosis, which adds a hip band and can actually be bilateral. However, this is really heavy and restrictive and requires a lot of energy to actually be able to use in gait. If your patient is considering a bilateral HKAFO, a better option might be a reciprocal gait orthosis, which adds a trunk shell and it also has bands that help to assist with limb progression. That reduces the energy expenditure needed for gait just a little bit. Finally, your patient can get something like a parapodium, which is basically a standing frame with a sit option. In order to actually use this for gait, they have to rock and offset and kind of shift their weight forward. So it's really inefficient, takes a lot of energy. So likely your patient isn't going to be using this for anything functional, but it could assist with general strengthening and getting those muscles to keep working. Now it's time for NPT Jeopardy! Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. This patient would likely use a rolling walker as well, but the level of impairment suggests limited hip and knee function requiring a more intense orthotic with some level of assist. However, they will likely be able to move at least against gravity for hip flexion and knee extension. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.